you know, I got to say that was, uh, and, you know, I'm not a producer or a director. I don't have, uh, I don't even know how to do the annotations hardly or any of that crap. But if you're going to produce a video and uh, talk about someone else with, with such gusto and use so much energy and science and technology and so much brain power to try to disrespect someone who only has, like you said, maybe 40,000 people subscribed to her. And you seem to think that there's some kind of, that she fails. Why do you think so many people subscribe? <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. I have a feeling you're a Muslim. I don't know why. I just get this feeling. And uh, I'm with her. You know, well, no, no, not with her. I don't know where you get this thing about how she's saying that humanity is killing the earth. You're right. So am I. There's no other animal out here that can do what we're doing to this earth. And now we've got the glaciers in the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau melting. Do you know what that means? Probably not. But <laughs> if we don't have enough glaciers up there, then there's a few rivers in Asia and, and the subcontinent that will just kind of uh, quit flowing. And uh, without a flowing river, you're not going to have any irrigation. Without irrigation, you're not going to have any grain. And without grain, you're not going to feed the billion people that live around there. Two billion. Two to three billion people live around there that live off the Himalayas, Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau. Probably four million, four, maybe five billion because of the amount of water that comes from there. The Yellow River, the Yangtze, the Ganges, the Indus, the Indus, the Euphrates, the Tigris, all those rivers are fed by glaciers that are melting because of climate change caused <laughs> caused by the industrialization of the earth from mankind excuse me but it's true i don't know what to tell you if you don't understand that and you want to put everything like you know your god is perfect so your earth must be perfect that means that you're you creatures that were created by your Allah must be perfect. So they couldn't hurt the earth. They couldn't be a disease, could they? Bullshit. Stop being so ignorant. That's all we ask. That's all atheists want. We don't have a belief in this thing about why are people thinking the Illuminati are Satanists and they got Satanic music. And trust me, Lady Gaga knows crap about Illuminati. She didn't know. Trust me, she's done. She has nothing to do with it, and uh, she doesn't know anything about it. Anybody who says anything about how they're trying to actually control or cause a religion, they're just stupid. They're just making shit up. Name tells you the whole point of the Illuminati from the very beginning. No, it didn't come from some Muslim Shalamadeen. It means illuminate. It means to enlighten, and not from the enlightenment, the so-called enlightenment, which is actually a religious revival, which is bullshit. We know that's not enlightening. You don't, obviously, but the rest of us do. And if you ban me, I don't care. It's not that big a deal. And yes, I am poor. So what is your problem? Is that... People that are so stupid they can't understand science, automatically, by default, they can say that they have a god, a superhero. Is that your point? Well, you haven't even really given any answers to any of her questions. All you've done is berate her and give an opinion about how you think. And it's because she's a woman. And uh, have you looked at her in the eye yet? I doubt it. Your stupidity tells you that if you do, you'll be forced to rape her. Well, why else would you put your women in the back of your damn mosque so that you can focus on prayers and not on the curves of the woman? Why do you do that? If it isn't sexual, 
Everything you freaks do is is you got sex on your head. You 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 think about seducing your women because they're women because they're wicked. So you cover them up so you don't have to look at them. And then even women in other countries, you freaks in a a guard in a prison, you fucking idiots. You you lower your head. They'll tell you, look at me, goddamn, so I can talk to you. That's what human beings do. All this looking down shit because you think women are evil is just stupid and it's evil. And it's got to end. We have people here in this country asking, do you think it's time for a female president? Excuse me? When wasn't it? <laughs> you know, that's what I mean. When, when, why was that question even asked? Why does that question need to be asked? Because it creeps like you who treat women like they're being treated all their lives. All for all these centuries, you all thought of this crap about Eve and the apple and like bullshit. And so now women are this second grade citizen with no rights. That's crap. And you try to legislate their bodies and everything. It's just nuts. And now you want to take a girl like this who's got some brains and actually has some good, intelligent things to say. Some information that really does need to be disseminated and, and people need to be edified. But you don't get it. And since you don't get it, you got this cult that you can go to. Just ask your Mohammed guy. Oh, I mentioned his name. Whoop de doo. What do you think? Lightning's gonna strike or something? I'm blaspheming a little more. Fuck all. Fuck the disease, fucking mental illness in your fucking head, Allah. Muhammad the prick, the pedophile. What do you think of that? True blasphemy, right? No. Blasphemy is a victimless crime. If anybody, if you if you call this vulgar, if you say I'm pornographic, if you try to tell me that I'm being racist, you're full of shit and you know it. You're using it as a fucking excuse and you got to stop. You Westboro Church Baptist freaks. Yeah. That's what Christian nation type thing is about. It's just like the Islamic nation. Same crap. You're going to have your women kowtowed and sit in the kitchen barefoot. Look at Westboro. Look what they do. You're Christ scientists and all these other creepy people that say, we can't take our kids to the doctor. We believe in prayer. And you allow it. Amazing to me. I'm just, I'm freaking out about it, actually. In Oregon, finally, they passed a law that religion cannot be used as a defense for unhealthy children. You can't do that anymore. You can't say, well, my church says prayer works, right? And I got freedom of religion. No. If you really look at it and you read it correctly, they actually meant freedom from religion, not of. We don't want any. Thank you very much. I don't care what y'all say. This is not a Christian nation. It's not going to be. You Muslims got it all wrong. You're freaky too. You already got your own fucking Islamic nation. Go there and live, okay? We don't want it. Millions of us don't want it. We don't want the Christian nation either or the Catholic fucking nation or the Jew nation. We just want a nation of human beings with critical thinking skills for crying out loud. Yeah, it's been a while, everybody. You know me, I'm just an earthling and I haven't got a lot to say, but when I do say it, I'll say it with passion. So, zombies, kids. See you later, kiddo. Good luck. All right. We gotta get you back on. I love your, I love your diatribes. Of course, I subscribe. And if there's some way to let me know where you are, you let me know. Say my name at <laughs> Gmail. Yeah, Gerald R. Reynolds. Go ahead. See you later. Take it easy, everybody. Lovely, all you. Have a good day.